Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to my official first FIFA 14 squad builder. I am very, very excited to bring you today uh, a squad builder on some Brasilvers. I uh, really think that these are going to be used a lot, as always, in Ultimate Team. And I wanted to show you some of the great ones that you can use on this game. First off, if you're looking to buy coins, be sure to check out UT Coin Traders. Links down below in the description for you guys. Right, getting into this squad then, guys. We have gone with a 4-1-2-1-2 with center mids instead of left mid and right mid and let's talk about the goalkeeper in the defense in goal we've got this guy Fabiano who plays for Porto um, and from what I could tell looked one of the best keepers I looked on foothead he's got 76 diving 74 reflexes 74 positioning so decent you know not too bad all of his stats are pretty good he's also six foot six so that is one of the reasons that I picked him up and he was actually a very good goalkeeper then we have Ayrton at right back who I picked up due to the fact that he had 74 shooting I wanted to try that out uh, and he's the cheapest player in this squad, only 850 coins, and he's a monster. Really like this guy. Fantastic, fantastic free kick stats on him as well. High 80s and 90s and stuff, it's crazy. Uh, definitely try him out. And then we have Carlinhos over in the left back spot, who has got four star skills and weak foot there. Unfortunately, has high low work rates, which is not the best. Um, but he's, his stats across the board look very, very good. You know, worst one there being his shooting at 64. And for a silver card, that's actually a really decent stat. Now, I'll put both of the centre-backs into the squad right now. We have got Felipe as our left centre-back, and we have got Antonio Ferreira as our right centre-back. I think these are probably two of the best and paciest Brasilva centre-backs you're going to get. Ferreira there, 81 pace, 66 defending, 67 heading. So not the greatest defensive stats, and he has got high attack and work rate, but he always does a great job for me. He's a good player on this game. And then Felipe. Felipe is incredible. 72 pace, 73 defending, 77 heading. He's six foot four has all cut you know pretty good work rates medium medium and I thought he was just an absolute boss so what I'm gonna do now is just move over into some clips of some of the defensive displays so how I used to previously do it was show some clips for each individual player but I'm gonna take it in chunks now so do defense midfield and attack and show you some of the best parts of the team so that covers me a little bit for you know say say my left back Carlinhos he didn't do too much for me so uh, I would have struggled to find any clips with that guy and that would have annoyed me so what I can show you now is you know some of the clips across the board mainly from my centre backs because the left back and the right back in your squad doesn't often do too much you know some of the time they're running down the wing uh, and, and putting some crosses in and stuff like that and you'll see something from Ayrton shortly uh, which leads to a nice opportunity for a bicycle kick which is cool but my centre backs were rock solid they had pace they had height they had strength uh, like right here, Felipe, that's Falcao he's up against, and he's absolutely mullering him. He does win it back, but pushes the ball in far enough away from play to get rid of any danger there. And I just... I don't know. I think Felipe was my favourite out of out of the two centre-backs, although uh, Ferreira is quicker. I just think Felipe with that strength and stuff. And there's a lovely ball over from uh, Ayrton, and an, an un unlucky there with the bicycle type acrobatic shot there from our striker now moving on to the midfield we have got in defensive mid we've got this guy Souza now I actually got him in a pack uh, and for this squad I think you can probably cost around 1800 coins something similar to that and he was great I mean again has fantastic defensive uh, stats and great stats across the board and also has very good free kick stats again guys so another little hidden one for you there uh, over out on the right hand side of the central midfielder here we have got Wellington who has got four star skills he cost me 12,750 coins I got him whilst uh, you know his hype has sort of gone up a bit so that's why I paid a fair bit for him uh, and he was all right probably the worst out of the you know the four midfielders for me but I actually still pretty you know found him very enjoyable got some assists for me and stuff and then we've got Ibsen I really liked him but when I look back on his stats he didn't really do too much no assists and only one goal in the eight games we played but his stats across the board are fantastic and I want to try him in a more central role uh, and I definitely love this guy and I, I He's 8,500 coins. I can see that going up. He feels to me like uh, Juice Alive from last year. So consider this guy someone that you know could possibly rise quite a bit in price. Uh, and then we have Marias. Marias was incredible. A really great talent. Good to have him back this year on Ultimate Team. Uh, 17.5k paid, and I think he's worth every penny. Five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. 
Uh, decent stats there, and he's got three goals and three assists in eight games, which for me is a very decent accomplishment. Uh, and he was a fantastic little player, very tricky on the ball. Uh, and as you'll see from here, you know, you'll see a great defense there from Souza. Um, you won't see any clips from Wellington, as I said. Well, you maybe you might see some. Um, assists and stuff from him further up in this video with you know showing the strikers goals but I'm showing you some shots here with Marias and Ibsen and some of the goals that we scored uh, and I've got to say Marias is shooting is just phenomenal he is a great little player um, the skill moves and as I said his tricky dribbling make him fantastic now look at the pass and move here there's something with the Brasilvas which just is so fluid when you're playing the ball around it's incredible I love it uh, that's what I've really enjoyed so far about FIFA 14 and then Ibsen gets a goal there which was heavily deflected uh, on a keeper that was already starting to sort of run out a little bit so that made it look quite cool but that was a nice goal there from Marias I really enjoyed that one um, you'll show I'll show the replay for you just because it went in off the post and I thought it was a nice high long shot been struggling to get some shots in there recently on at the start of this game because I don't know it just feels more difficult to shoot we're all trying to figure out how it is we play this game and stuff but it's very enjoyable to start with for me uh, but Marias doing his thing he scored as I said three goals in the eight games and also got three assists which is not too bad from that cam position I enjoyed him quite a lot now up front we have got two of the best silvers I guarantee you're going to use this year Wallison up front on the right hand side I paid 65,000 coins he's got the five star skill moves obviously 88 pace 71 dribbling and 68 shooting he as you can see only scored three goals in the eight games but again he got three assists as well so him and Marias were kind of exactly the same player even though you'd look for slightly more out of Wallison I think if I give him a chance he is going to turn into a great player uh, but Job Jobson oh my god guys he's incredible I love him. I, I fell in love with him as soon as I started playing with him. I bought him for 91k, which is a lot of coins. Um, 84 pace, 76 dribbling, 68 shooting. He's got 5-star skill moves as well. Uh, and he scored 7 goals in the 8 games and also gained himself 2 assists as well, which is some good stats there. And I thought he was just incredible. Honestly, like he, he scored like 2 a game. But obviously, with this uh, the start, the early release of FIFA, uh, I, you know, you you get the freezes and stuff, and the game ends without in 10 minutes without you being able to play a uh, score a goal or anything. So he did score a lot of goals for me in a short amount of games, uh, and I just felt felt like his dribbling, his trickiness, his pace, everything was just on point with Jobson. Wallison, not quite so much, but I can I can see myself really enjoying Wallison if I just get used to him a little bit more. It's funny because I've used Wallison all through the last few FIFAs uh, and it's been a year or so since I've been out. Oh no, FIFA 11 I believe it was with Jobson I think uh, the last time we got to use him. So um, it's been a long time since we've used this guy and he felt, he felt at home straight away which was awesome it's exactly what you want to feel uh, when you play with these guys on ultimate team people that you remember how good they were in previous fifas and uh jobson is just incredible i can't rate this guy enough uh he he's a goal scorer he's a skiller you know if i'm gonna work up to learning some skill moves and stuff and obviously using all the new dribbling techniques and stuff he just works fantastic he's He's amongst, you know, gold players in my opinion. Um, the fact that there's single player matches this year uh, gives us, not single player, I mean single online games where, you know, you don't have to uh, go into a tournament or whatever. It's just, it's going to make for great, you know, using golds and silvers in the same team. And I can't wait to play with Neymar and Jobson. I think that can be a force to be reckoned with. Uh, lovely goal there from Jobson. And the final goal we've got with this team is from Wallison actually. A nice long shot. You know, bouncing along the ground, in off the post. A great goal there. Uh, actually, my favourite goal that I scored with this team. So, uh, the best goal didn't actually come from Jobson, but he was definitely the best player. I hope you have enjoyed, guys. I just want to show you this goal again, because I quite liked it. Um, and that was against Diego Alves in goal, who has high reflexes and stuff. So, hmm. That was an odd one. But this team in total cost around 211,000 coins. I'm assuming that it will go up in price. And it seems as, you know, the full game is not out just yet. Uh, and these guys like Wallison and Jobson will be very popular. But I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, smash that like button. I'd love to hit 1,500. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.